humans of the universe, welcome to the Monarch Journal. This is a space where we will be discussing philosophy, personal growth techniques, and just total utter BS to the layman individual. Today, we will be touching on the topic of doing absolutely nothing. Come, join me. I find it interesting how society has conditioned pretty much all of us to believe that forceful action, conscious striving, and reason are the best ways to pursue our goals in life. And I think for some things this does apply, but I think for life's greatest pursuits, such as happiness, love, attractiveness, spontaneity, energy, cannot be achieved through these means. And I think this is where Wu Wei really comes into play. So there was once a guy named Donnie Longberger. Now Donnie was a corporate lawyer at a Skookum New York law firm. But Donnie hated his job, he couldn't stand it. So he decided to retire just a little bit early so that he could pursue his life's passion of becoming a fig farmer. Now at first, everything was going according to plan for the guy. He had bought a beautiful plot of land in North Connecticut, and he had studied hours and hours on how to produce a bountiful fig crop. Now every day Donnie would notice something a little bit peculiar. His neighbor, who was also a fig farmer, was an old gray-haired, shrivelly man with a long beard. Now this man wouldn't work half as hard as Donnie on his fig crops. In fact, he'd only be out for about an hour each day, casually watering his plants. Donnie scoffed at this ridiculous and lazy behavior and thought to himself, this man will never turn a bountiful crop like mine. But sure enough, with harvesting season just around the corner, Donnie arose early to check on the progress of his crops. But to his surprise, his crops were way behind schedule and were just small shrubs. Puzzled and confused, Donnie glanced over at his neighbor's yard, and to his surprise, there was a sea of beautiful green fig leaves. In a fit of jealous rage, Donnie began tugging at his small shrubs in order to force their growth, and in the process, tragically murdered them all. Exhausted and defeated, Donnie collapsed onto the dry soil, and when he opened his eyes, he saw a shadowy figure towering above him. It was the old man. Teach me your secrets, old man, Donnie cowered in defeat. And the old man, with one swipe of his beard, said, Donnie, you're doing too much. Do less and let nature take its course. And then the man disappeared. So Wu Wei stems from an ancient Chinese philosophy. Wu Wei literally translates to no trying. But Wu Wei isn't really about dull in action at all. You see, Wu Wei is all about dynamic, effortless, and unconscious flow. People who are in Wu Wei may feel like they are doing nothing, all the while they are creating a brilliant work of art, negotiating a complex social situation, or bringing the world into harmonious order. Wu Wei is all about the integration of the body, mind, and emotions in a seamless fashion. Being in a way can be both very relaxing, but also deeply rewarding. Being in a way, the state of a way, can simply be referred to as Da. Da is the ultimate form of Wu Wei flow. Da is a radiance that others can detect and it serves as an outward signal that one is in the state of Wu Wei. For someone in Wu Wei, Da has a powerful and seemingly magical effect on those around them, allowing them to spread influence and energy in an instant fashion. If you have Da, people like you, trust you, and are completely relaxed around you. But how do we achieve Da and enter a state of Wu Wei? The first 
and most potent way to enter a state of Uwe is through the practice of meditation. The foundation of Uwe is centered around presence, so it is essential for all those wishing to enter this magical state of flow. So the second way is to be completely honest with yourself about your core values and the meaning and purpose behind your existence. Are you the neighborhood's best pancake flipper? Are you that freak on the corner who rides a really good frickin' unicycle? Whatever that is, commit to it and Wu Wei will follow suit. Why is that? Because once we commit to our purpose, our heart automatically knows our direction. And that allows space for more unconscious, effortless action towards our true potential. So the third one is, don't focus on results. It's so easy to be results focused, especially in this modern world. You know, you gotta pay your rent, you gotta make your girlfriend happy. But a lot of the times, results are fleeting and they're not quite what we expect them to be once we do arrive. Instead, Wu Wei says to enjoy the process. After all, life is one big process, and if you're not enjoying it, then what are you really doing? If you enjoy the process and the steps along the way, Wu Wei says that you'll act more responsively, effortlessly, and more in the moment, so you can enjoy this beautiful journey. So now that you have a better idea of the concept of Wu Wei, feel free to implement it into your own life. Go ahead, do absolutely nothing and see what happens. But remember, Wu Wei isn't a one size fits all equation, just like any philosophy or any piece of advice. I think it's important to take it all with a grain of salt and see how it fits in to your own personal existence. Thanks a lot for joining me and I'll see you guys on the next edition of the Monarch Journal. Happy journeys.